Hello everyone, and welcome to part three of the Network Services Room on TryHackMe.com. In this video, we're going to be covering the FTP section of the room. So if you've been keeping along, you know that these take a little while to boot up. So instead of jumping right into understanding, we're going to start with enumerating and then start the machine. I've already got mine going, so let's get back to understanding. A little bit about FTP, two different ways of communication, more details. All right, so what communications model does FTP use? It uses a client-server model. What's the standard port? You're not going to find that up here. You'll find it in the request for comment here, or you'll just already know it. It is 21. How many modes of FTP connection are there? You've got active and you've got passive. So there are two. All right, enumerating FTP. You're going to want to read through the top. Gives you a little breakdown. This is also very helpful. A lot of times in Linux, this will get you information you need using the dash dash help, dash help, or dash h after the tool name you're trying to use, or to bring up the man pages for the tool. All right, if you don't have FTP, you can install it with sudo apt install FTP. And different variants. Okay. So we're going to run an nmap scan. As usual, I save mine to an output, but for this, we would do nmap. I would say dash a again and dash p minus p because I like that as a scan. Then 10.10.87.163. You will be subbing in your machine's IP address for this IP address here. And as you can see again, saved to a text file. So instead of running this scan, we're going to take a look at that text file. All right. So we've got all ports scanned. We've got 21 open TCP for FTP. We've got the version of FTP right there. And it looks like that's about all we've gotten for this Nmap scan. All right, so let's get to the questions. How many ports are open? Now, for me, it looks like there's only one, but I'm pretty sure this room counts that as wrong. Yes, so this room says there are two ports open. If you can see what the second port is and let me know, please do, because to me, it only looks like port 21 here is open. And what port is FTP running on? 21. What variant of FTP is running on it? For that, you're going to look right here, VSFTPD. All right, so now we know what type of server we're dealing with, and we're going to try to connect. So you do FTP, the server's address. It's going to ask for a username. We're going to say anonymous. can ask for a password, we're not going to give it one, and there we are. So you can't just log in anonymously to this. What is the name of the file? We're going to ls. The name of the file is publicnotice.txt. I'm going to copy that over. What do you think a possible username should be? So for that, we're going to need to download this file. So git public underscore notice txt. If there's a way to just output a text file onto the screen using FTP, I do not know it, but I do know that we can download it and then take a look on our PC for what it says. So I'm going to open up a new terminal here. Public underscore. There we go. Public notice. All right. Message from system administrators. Hello, cheers, Mike. Okay, so what do we think a possible username could be? Let's say Mike. All right, yeah, we've got details of the server, possible username, and now we move on to exploiting FTP. So we've got more information, the methods, the little talk about the tool we're going to be using, Hydra, which is going to brute force the password to Mike's account. And something important to check out here is that you're going to need this file 
on your system. If you're using the attack box, you already have it. It's in your word lists. You're good to go. If you're using it on your local system, you're going to, or at least this is what I did, just Google rocky.txt GitHub. For me, it was the first result. You can download it, and then you'll have it in whichever directory you need it to be in. And if you're using the Kali Linux machine on the web-based one, you're going to look at this folder, because you're going to have an extra step. So you're going to open up your terminal, and you're going to change directory into desktop slash word lists, I'm pretty sure. Yes. There it is. So on the Kali Linux browser version, you've got rocku.txt, but it's zipped up. So to unzip that, you're going to do g unzip or gunzip if you're feeling feisty. rocku.txt.gz. It'll run through the process. And then you'll have your rocku.txt file that you're good to go with. All right. So moving on, we've got our rocky.txt file downloaded. Let's go back to this terminal we don't need anymore. And we'll take a look at this one. All right, so we're into the FTP connection. We're going to be working with Hydra. You've got your word list. This breaks down every step and option of this example command. Good to read through, understand what it's doing. All right, so we're going to exit out of the FTP connection. FTP is polite and says goodbye. We're going to do Hydra dash T four minus L. Our username is Mike, not Dale. And then P for the word list. Now for me, my word list is already in this folder, so it's going to be slash home slash Kali, slash rocku.txt. We're going to do extra verbose. The IP address of whatever your machine is. And then we're going to tell it it's an FTP protocol. All right, let's see how we do. And there we go took five tries and we've already got Mike's password. It's password. All right, so now we're going to log into the FTP server as Mike. So you can do FTP, the IP address, and it's going to ask you for the username. And then you enter in his password, which is password. And now we're in as Mike. And we got an FTP.txt. Let's see what ftp.txt has for us. Got it downloaded with git ftp.txt, say goodbye, cat ftp.txt onto the screen, and there we go. Try hack me, you got the FTP flag. Copy that over. Look through this last expanding your knowledge. It's got some good resources to check through. You'll learn more about the topics covered in this room. And then your last complete. Congratulations. You have finished the network services room on tryhackme.com. Thanks for walking through this with me. I hope the video was helpful. And I'll see you guys next time.